write this function which is in standard form into intercept form remember we have to factor so we make it look like this y equals a times x minus b times x minus q and these coefficients coefficients of x are 1 so step 1 we've got to factor out a GCF the negative comes out with it and everything is even so we can factor out a negative 2 so I'll have 4x squared minus 19x oh, make that plus 19x minus 5 inside the parentheses we have to factor that trinomial and you can either use the AC method or guess and check I'm gonna go ahead and guess and check here so negative 2 open the parentheses twice this times this has to be 4x squared so when I try 4x and x that times that has to equal negative 5 so why don't I try a 5 and a 1 and uh, I check my my rainbow products here so here I've got an x and there I've got 20x if I were to subtract those two things I'd get 19 so I have to have a positive 20 and a negative 1 so y equals negative 2 times 4x minus 1 times x plus 5 alright so on this first one I can't have that 4 in there so I'm gonna have to factor it out front and when I do I'm gonna multiply it times that negative 2 so that's gonna make it negative 8 times x minus now I divide this number by 4 1 fourth times x plus 5 so notice that this negative 8 is the same thing as this negative 8 that's our a value here's our equation in intercept form and our two x intercepts are 1 fourth and negative 5 let's try another one so y equals x squared plus 2x minus 48 this one's a little bit easier just open up our two set of parentheses our product has to be 48 negative 48 they have to add up to 2 so that's going to be an 8 and a negative 6 x plus 8 x minus 6 and it's done our two x-intercepts are negative 8 and positive 6 if I were going to find the vertex from this I average the x's so negative 8 plus 6 divided by 2 that gives me negative 2 over 2 so negative 1 that's just the x-coordinate if I wanted the y-coordinate you go back up here and you put it back in and solve for y Let's try one more. So, got to factor out the negative, and I look at all of my numbers here. Look like they're all divisible by three. So I'm gonna pull out that negative three. I'll have four x squared minus three goes into seventy-two twenty-four times plus three goes into 105 35 times so again I'm gonna factor this it's in parentheses that trinomial y equals negative 3 let's guess and check here so for our two front spots they have to multiply up to 4x squared so let's try 2x and 2x this time and the last ones are gonna add up to 35 how about a 7 and a 5 both of these have to be negative since they're going to multiply to a positive and add up to a negative. This is negative 14, and the outside ones are negative 10, so I add those up, I get negative 24. So we've done it right. But I can't have this 2 here, can't have this 2 here, so I have to factor them both out and multiply them times this negative 3. So we should have a negative 12 times x minus 7 over 2, because so I factor out the 2 from that and x minus 5 over 2 for the last one.